kinetic energy is the energy carried by any object that is moving. If that object has a mass of m and a speed or velocity of v, then the equation for kinetic energy is that ek is equal to a half multiplied by its mass times by its velocity or speed squared. That means that if you increase the mass of the object, then its kinetic energy will increase if it's moving. And if you increase the velocity, then its kinetic energy will also increase. But look at that square. That square is only acting on the v, on the speed. So that's quite important because it means that if you doubled the speed of the object, then you would have doubled squared, so you would actually multiply the kinetic energy by four. And this has got implications in road safety. Let's say you were going along at uh, 10 miles per hour a speed, and then we're going to have some kind of kinetic energy. We'll just call that, we'll just call that EK. But if you doubled your speed, 20 miles per hour, then because of that square, you won't have two lots of the starting amount of EK. You'd have four lots of it. You would multiply your energy by four. So this means that if you had a, a collision at 20 miles per hour compared with at 10 miles per hour, you would do four times as much damage than you would do if you were going at 10 miles per hour. Uh, and so that's very important when it comes to speed limits because a, a small increase in your speed can cause a big increase in damage if you were to hit uh, um, pedestrians or other vehicles. So anyway, let's go on to the flashcard and answer the, uh, the question, which is to give the equation, the quantity, descriptions and the units. So first of all, we know that kinetic energy, Ek, if you like, is a half times m times the speed of the object squared. You can use speed or velocity. E is the kinetic energy. M is the mass. Oh, sorry, kinetic energy units are, of course, joules, as all energy types are in joules. M is the mass. The standard unit for mass is kilograms in physics. And V is the speed. Units, meters per second. Great. And that is kinetic energy.